Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to episode number 53 of my Bath City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And well, today I've got a couple more games for you. We've got Accrington in the league. They're actually doing pretty well, so it's not going to be an easy game. Uh, they're fourth, and we're struggling in last uh, with not picking up a win yet, which is really disappointing. And it's becoming... It's actually past frustrating for me. I'm all, I'm just playing the games, knowing I'm losing, and I'm like thinking, yep, this is going to be another loss. Let's go into the next game. And I'm probably not caring about it as much as I probably should, if I'm honest. Like, I really want to get this season done uh, in a way, developing my young talent, because I know, yeah, we're building a team to gain promotion. It's probably impossible to go consecutive promotions from uh, the Van Rama Conference South or North, whichever one you're in, then... Uh, to the conference and they get promoted again the next season like I did but yeah the next when you have made it to league two it's really really hard the difference in quality of players uh, you can really tell it's more or less impossible if you're playing the way yeah um, yeah you can play within without cheating probably giving yourself more money or something it just yeah I couldn't see how it would be possible really like I got I'd made the best signings I could and I felt I've done it the best way with young talents coming in. So, yeah. And also, some people say sometimes, like, that I reload when I play off camera. Well, I think this is pretty much, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, evidence that I don't reload games to win. Uh, as you can see, we haven't even won a game in the league this season. So, just because I've done well previously doesn't mean I was cheating. So, you can see here, that's definitely not the case. Uh, but we're just going to have to move on, play the games. Charles Labus is going to be called up. Uh, for some more international games, so we might as play him. Yeah, might as well play him here. And we've got oh yeah, this episode I'll probably title it this injury trouble. So injury troubles is not helping. We've got two of our right back injured, uh, Anthony Robinson injured. So that's left back. So Holmes Dennis is going to have to come left back, then Dan Ball right back. I'm trying to get a centre back partnership going this season. I'm trying. I don't want to change it up too much. George Fowler and Charlie Oliver. I feel they could make a good partnership. Two young lads uh, with some pretty good potential. Like George Fowler, what has he got? Leading championship potential, and we've got him uh, for this season. Not he's only on loan though. But yeah, the guy we've got is Charlie Oliver, and what's his potential? Okay, it doesn't exactly say, but he came from Man City. So, yeah, they're two good young English lads with some potential in them. And, yeah, hopefully they can develop together or something and, like I said, form a good centre-back partnership this season. But we do have injury troubles. Uh, but also we've made some loan signings. Uh, Lewis Collins and also centre-attacking midfield injuries. We've had uh, problems there. So uh, Lewis Collins on loan from Reading. Uh, he's okay. Like if you compare, look at this, the report, he's better than, that much better than Dan Demkiv, who's got an injury and also Timothy Pike. But unfortunately he just joined like after a couple days he joined, he got an injury. So I've basically got no luck right now. And he's, he seems like a good player, got good, good determination. And just, I was trying to find the best rated players and these, or the best valued players, highest valued players. And these are the guy like on loan from Man City. You think he can be a good talent from Man City. So these are the guys I've got. And also, the alteration I've made hasn't really made a difference. Uh, but again, on my standard tactic, I've just gone back to more direct because I don't see the point as a team that's not really good in this league as like just playing short passing and stuff, trying to keep possession as much as that's the way I like to play. And because of its, attra it's attractive football, uh, we, can't, we can't simply play that way. And actually, we're going to make a change here uh, for a second. What are we going to do? Again, you can see positions, opposition instructions. If it doesn't go well in this game, I may have to look to alter that, uh, how it's set default anyway. So we'll go team talk. Leah Lamb, a decent talk there. We're going to say assertively, I have faith in you. Just say I have faith in my players. Come on. We'll see what that does. Not really too much assertively, but yeah, strikers looking happy. Lafayette and Charles Labus. Uh, the tutoring's going well between those two, as you can see by Harry Labus, is going up directly uh, to 15 determination so that should help him as a player and yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah i was going to change mentality to defensive because when you play in defensive that really instructs your players to get the ball forward like where are we just so i can go to the uh, specific thing it says about it so you know if you don't but you should uh, it's a defensive down the bottom it says it relies on direct balls to the forwards fo followed by sharp and quick passing to score on the counter and that's how we're instructed to play as well high tempo and direct passing so that hopefully could go well uh definitely playing a counter uh, uh, without playing on counter if that makes sense <laughs> yeah just 
yeah, playing on the defensive. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but Accrington, like, this is not a game, like, to expect a win, you know, like, away against a team that's, yeah, pushing for promotion this season. It's going to be hard. I think we picked up an injury early as well. Possession's been, oh, it was good early. Now it's gone directly down. Come on, Sheaf. He can be a good player. That's why I want to play, like, that short passing. He's one of the guys. But look here, James. What is he going to do? Finds Harrell He goes back to Sheaf in that deep-lying midfield role. Now Dan Ball. He finds Lafayette. Back to Dan Ball, who puts it in. Collins scores! The new loan signing. I only signed him in the previous game, so, yeah, this wasn't his debut, but still, he's really new to the team, and he scores a goal here. What a way to introduce yourself, really, in your second game. Dan Ball, dangerous on either wing, really, as a fullback. You've got to give credit to him. He does his best. Like, he hasn't been amazing this season, but attribute-wise, he's probably not League 2 level at the minute. May grow a little bit. Oh, man, that's that's what it's been this season as well for us. On a couple of occasions, we've taken the lead, and then they just score immediately, even if we're playing defensive. So, yeah, it's pretty frustrating, if I'm honest. Anytime I take the lead, and then sometimes I draw the match or I go on to lose. I've actually took the lead maybe three or four times in games, which it starts promising, and then, yeah, really disappointing at the end. But we need to hold the centre-back partnership, I feel, not be chopping and changing it all the time. I think that's a problem. But fitness levels is a problem as well. So it's a struggle. Maybe leave your feedback. What will you do? Do you keep yeah, the same yeah, same centre-backs? Because I'm just changing all the time. But I need to. And almost another goal is going to come here. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's just the same. Every game is the same. Oh, it's really frustrating. That's why there's no point of really... Show, but of course, I'm going to show you some games, but so you just get a gauge of how it's panning out. And I can't really change my formation. I don't really have wingers. Uh, but it's really, it's not like we concede so many chances. They have two shots on target and score twice. And that's not unfamiliar. Like I said, it's always been like that for the whole season. And I probably won't be fired even if I get relegated because the board are still happy with me. And it doesn't say, that's not even my expectations to avoid relegation. Just like fight bravely against it. So because we have a young squad, we're going to be playing them. But I'm just trying to find reasons here, uh, like bright signs. I'm trying to think, yeah, what's the good signs from here? But we're going to have to say here, aggressively, show me something else. Uh, who's this guy, Dan Ball? Man, he's looking stressed. I'll just say, uh, I appreciate the effort. Uh, maybe we'll have to go attacking here. We're behind. We have to go for it. Hmm. It's very, very hard. We're definitely our team. Like last year, at the start of the season, we were struggling in the conference. Obviously, we turned it around uh, somehow. But we're just being, we're being really poor. You can't hide behind that. But it's, it's, it's a hard season for us. It's a very hard season because we're just not the same quality compared to the other teams, really. And it's frustrating for me, honestly. Like, I thought we were playing well the previous season, like, with our tactic and everything. I've changed it instruction-wise and all of that. Uh, Lewis Collins has to come off. Don't want him to get an injury. He showed a sign by scoring. Uh, Harold Abbas uh, is going to go off. We'll bring on... Tyler Walker's been okay, actually. We might make all our subs. We need to change something, or we're not going to get anything from this game. Ben Sheaf. We'll bring on Chris McPhee, maybe some experience, and we'll go attacking here yeah we'll go yeah we'll go on the attacking formation setup so there we go i was originally yeah only going to do the portsmouth game but i feel yeah sometimes i get comments people saying the video is too short or something uh but yeah it's like a lot of people do similar size videos like from 10 minutes to 15 but i know you're probably accustomed to like uh, 25 minute to 30 minute videos on my channel so i got to understand that as well because that's what i've done for quite a while oh come on Ugh. see like usually i'll get like frustrated like really frustrated of course i'm disappointed here but it's like i don't go so mad about it because i'm used to it now i'm used to losing these games so of course inside i'm frustrated but there's like no sense i see no sense in getting so mad about it because what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you going to do? Lafayette, come on. James, score a goal, Walker. Come on, yes! Show something! 
Well done! Well done! I just want to see signs here. Come on, Walker. That's going to be so important for me. So I'm excited more so because I know he's going to be... That shows a sign that he's going to be good for us in the future. Uh, doing that now. James playing in the ball. And then Walker. A really, really tidy finish. I'm happy with that. Uh, pretty good accuracy, really. Two shots on target. Or well, three shots on target, sorry. And two goals. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, maybe a late goal and we could get something from this game against a team that's pushing for promotion at the top of the table. Come on, Walker. McPhee wins it in midfield. Not bad for a striker. Lafayette, Palmer, get in, lads. Let's get a point from this. Come on. Come on, Lee. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, man, I thought this game was gone. But we've turned it around. And that's the inspiration. Our team is nowhere near these other teams in terms of quality. But these young talents, man, they've got the inspiration. Oh, man, I'm serious. I'm serious. This team... Could we potentially go for a winner? I think we can. We'll just leave it because we're performing or I'll be content uh, with a draw here. Yeah, I think that will be like the last highlight. Just, yeah, 25 seconds. P so we pull a point. Might be important point in the grand scheme of things. Maybe a late goal, but I don't think it will be. Palmer. I think it will just be it. That will be it. Yeah, what a comeback. Got to applaud that. I thought the game was dead and buried, and you probably did as well. Again, like I mentioned, this could be an important point come the end of the season. I'll say passionately. Yeah. And they're like a team that's at top of the table this year. I think they were third. Third or fourth. Can't remember. Because I've been so focused just on this specific game. And we're not last anymore. By goal difference. Come on. And don't forget, it's only, yeah, the last two. Like, 23rd and 24th only get relegated. So, if we can go... If we can pick up some wins, uh, we'll be safe this season. And it's good to know there's another, yeah, poor team loot in this season. It's not just us at the bottom. So, that was a good point one. Well done, lads. There's That game showed signs like Walker's goal. He's going to be great going forward in the future. Where are we? I just want to see how he's looking in training. Tyler Walker coming on and scoring a goal. Obviously showed his quickness there. Yeah, he's definitely working on his finishing, and he showed that there. And he, he just look, he looks like a good type that could be a player for us, like a clinical. He's only got leading. See, he's got a potential to be a leading player in this division. All these players have at least that, if not better. So if we're not going to get promoted now, we're going to at some point. Like, even if it's going to take a while, this it shouldn't be a rush. It's not who can do it first, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, I'd rather have, yeah, these young players in place coming through. Uh, that will be really good players for us. So uh, he did his job today. Okay, lads, a huge game against Portsmouth today in the Johnson's Payne Trophy. They're doing all right in League One. They're 10th. They've got some injuries. Um, look at their goalkeepers here. They've got George Long and George Leg. <laughs> uh, very, very similar names. Um, same first name. So he's injured, George. And they're probably going to play the other George, Long. He's probably better. Whoa, phew, he's a good keeper. He, he looks... Oh, because League One, yeah, he's League One level with potential. Yeah, he's a guy to look out for. Maybe if you're yeah around League Two, League One level... Uh, he's got potential to be, what does it say, a decent Premier League goalkeeper in the future. So look out for him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, where does he start? Sheffield United? So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled on him. Even me. Maybe if we're trying to push up, his contract expires 2018. So, yeah. Could be one of those guys you could pick up and could do a job for you. But anyway, uh, they've got a lot of players. Look at this. They even got Dean Brunt, a young talent. He's not going to make an impact. But yeah, Jack Watmo is a very good player and football manager this year. A guy you could pick up in the first couple of seasons, pretty cheap. See, so still only valued 800K. And he gets to Premier League level. I've seen him there always. People have told me about him as well. I always see him. Yeah, he's a good bargain player, good English player. But we're going to go in and I'm going to experiment. Sure, we've got lower conditions, but I'm not going to make a, a change. Uh, because like I said in the game, Especially with the centre backs, I don't want to change. I want to try even the like eighty seven condition, eighty eight. I've got to, I've got to keep with. I want to see because I've been chopping and changing like every single game. Maybe there's a higher chance yeah, if we keep the same team and maybe players that played well, like Tyler Walker coming on, will start him. And there's a lot of green morales and a decent result here against Portsmouth. If he can somehow bag a win away from home, that would just elevate our morale, and then we can push on from there. Maybe we could go on from like a point last season where morale helped us. So, oh, please, 
please. This could just be a great moment for us. We've still got a lot of injuries, and we can only use five on the bench for this. So we've got, yeah, Harry can play striker, Lee Palmer, attack mid for or center mid. And yeah, Vecchio. I, I think it's, uh, I believe it's pronounced Vecchio now. Uh, not Vecchio, it's Vecchio, I'm told. So we'll leave that, and he'll come on if needed. Now, actually, Ratchnik, because he can play right back. So sorry, Vecchio. Maybe you can play another game, but come on. Got Ben Sheaf there as well. He's even want to play a bit more direct there. Um, he's, yeah, good deep playing playmaker going forward as well. Like came from Arsenal, actually even earlier started at West Ham, uh, but yeah, in real life he's at Arsenal now as a youth player. He seems like a really uh, good young player. That I'm not sure if anyone yeah follows youth <laughs> the youth leagues or whatever, but he's at Arsenal, so a bigger kind of team. Anyone know about him? He seems like a good like he's got the right attributes like that for an Arsenal player. You know, like for a centre mid. A uh, good passer, good first touch, uh, good vision, good technique. So, yeah, we'll go in. As I said, a win against them somehow would boost our morale. It's already in a decent position. Uh, we just need to push ball, but they've got so much talent. Look, Jed Wallace is absolute star. Uh, I believe he's pretty good in real life. And just look at their striker as well, uh, Adil Nabi. Where does he start? Yeah, he's around the West Brom uh, kind of level and then moves on. Uh, D Williams, uh, Danny Williams. It uh, seems like oh, they've got some higher yeah, rated players. Uh, who's close? Been close. So yeah, they've got some good players. Uh, Jack Watmo playing that center back role. I believe mm, you can teach him. I've seen people teach him to play like a center mid or defensive midfield role, uh, but he's naturally a center back. But I believe, yeah, he could be better if you yeah mold him into a center mid or defensive mid. And then there's Webster as well, who's another good youngster for them. So it's going to be hard to get past with that back. Um, yeah, those two centre-back. And there, that's that's what I'm trying to get here. Like a two centre-back partnership, like with uh, two young English lads. That's what Portsmouth have, and they've got pretty good potential. So they're set up really well. And then they've also got Cunningham and Bradley in the full-back positions. And that long guy's playing uh, the sweeper-keeper, as I would have believed. So he's going to be hard to get past. So we'll leave it like this anyway. We'll go into the game. We'll go... Uh, Leah Lamb, uh, not amazing team talk. I'm going to step... Um, oh, sorry about that. Have to sort by pick. There we go. I'm going to say passionately, there's a lot more to come from you. That's why I just feel is getting the best reactions uh, from my personal positional talk. So that's what we'll have to do from here to get the best reactions. There we go. So, lads, I'm totally not expecting to win this game, but you don't know what can happen. Of course, their team's probably better well, without a doubt, they're better. Keep possession even early. Uh, good signs. Okay, we've got to throw in here. Just don't give away possession. James, well done. Those 50-50 battles we need to win. But they get back the ball. This is where we've got to be careful. Come on, Holmes Dennis. Well done. Versatile player for us. Versatile players are so important when you get injuries like I do have right now. Now, Sheaf, Lafayette. Oh, this could be a goal. It's Tyler Walker. Yes, fourth goal of the season, and that's what strikers you that's what you'll get from strikers. Um they'll have goal scoring patches. He probably won't be consistent throughout the season, but he's in a rich vein of form right now, and that's when I've got to play him. And using Lafayette as a target man with his aerial presence, and then he found Walker. So somehow now yeah, we'll go defensive and like I showed you before how they just yeah to get the ball forward. Uh, with direct balls, all of that. And we've got the lead now. So this will be amazing if we can hold on to this. Uh, getting some extra money. It's nothing amazing at this point. Uh, but to stay alive in the cup. But that's the thing. I'd trade two wins in the cup for two wins in the league. I'd, I'd love two wins in the league. Because realistically, we're probably not going to win the cup. Even though the highest level is League 1, you don't know what can happen. <laughs> if we could win that, that would be insane. But I can't get too excited because Portsmouth are on the attack. Jed Wallace to Dawkins. Oh, they're spreading the play now. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to be... I hate... I hate that from these lower level keepers. Uh, when you concede and they're just they're out of position, you know. When they're out of position. It's, it's really disappointing to concede like that. It would be nice. Because you could just tell it's coming. So he runs there. He like runs... He doesn't even run in the direction where the ball is. Going to... The anticipation really poor there. Very disappointed in that. Really. That's what I hate most about lower league keepers. <laughs> They're just so bad. Oh, come on, Wallace. Now Marnie, and it's a penalty. Again, I'm not going to get mad about it. It's just disappointing that that would happen. 
Maybe he can redeem himself a lock. He saved penalties before, but he's against Marnie. Experienced player. Is he going to score? Oh, he missed! He missed! Oh, lucky. Lock didn't save that, but he missed to give us some kind of hope <laughs> in this game. But yeah, Portsmouth, they're really full of confidence right now. But maybe that missed penalty... Yeah, could drop the confidence down. Lafayette, come on, Tyler. Can he do it again? Walker, Collins, can he score another? Goes to James. James, Walker again! Young Tyler, get in! Come on! This guy's going to be so good. Him and Harold Abbas, oh my God, we're going to have two young goal scorers coming through. And they've just got that instinct to find the back of the net. The ball just fell to him. He hit it right away and he found the back of the net. Come on! That was a two-goal turnaround. They could have been 2-1 ahead with the penalty, but maybe a bit of luck or it just was a poor penalty. And Tyler Walker, what a game. What? A, and it's not the first time. Like I said when I signed him uh, in the review, like the first game of the season, well, the first episode of this season, he scored on uh, coming off the bench twice uh, for Nottingham Forest, once in the cup. And I'm not sure if that's it would have been FA Cup or yeah, Capital One Cup. And then also in the league. So in the championship, that's a big occasion, a big occasion championship, a big league uh, compared to where we are now or yeah, who he's playing for now I'm in League Two. And he's stepping up, a yeah, big occasion uh, against Portsmouth. So what we're going to say here, it's a good chance to praise the team. I'm going to say passionately, I have to praise them. It's a good performance. What did I do there? I'm, I'm like shocked. I just said I was happy, yeah? Okay, I'm shocked by that reaction. We'll go assertively and say, I'm impressed with your defending. Okay. Maybe we have to do it this way. I'm impressed with your. Uh, I'm impressed with how you control the midfield. Okay, they look happy. Hopefully, this can turn it around. I don't see why Walker got a bad reaction from that. That's confusing. I'm impressed with your efforts up front. Okay, now he's just confused. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I was shocked. I thought, yeah, green reaction. Surely, uh, this is a great effort. Like, was I wrong there to say we're pleased? I just wanted to give credit to them. Like. I thought we were going to lose this for sure, and maybe pretty badly. But they've got a corner here. Hopefully that doesn't affect... Maybe they'll get a goal anyway, so you never really know what mode. Come on, get rid of this Walker. Smartly. Just cleared the danger. Sure, it concedes a corner, but better than conceding a goal. And we should be able to deal with this. Come on. Well done. Well done. If we can hold on to this somehow, man, I'll be so pleased about that. Maybe we'll just go in uh, with the team talk. Oh, Lewis Collins is... Injured. I told you injuries, man, for me right now. They're really annoying. But we're going to bring on Lee Palmer. Come on. He's got superb morale coming on as well. So I'm not too displeased about just say no pressure. And he's relaxed. So, yeah, superb morale and he's relaxed. Come on. They're taking Nabi off. Let's just hold on. We're in the lead. It's not like we need a score or something now. We've got the lead. Wow. Maybe it's, yeah, our luck. To do something in the cup this year. Simon Dawkins injured. We'll go with the team talk. We'll say passionately. And just say concentrate. No reason to concede here. Whew, what a performance man. Coming off the previous game as well. To yeah, pick up a point. Now what Mo's on a yellow as well. Here's Chaplin. He looks dangerous out wide. Tamani. Wallace smashes it. It just feels like they're so OP against my keeper, man. They just strike and it doesn't look like saving it. And you definitely see the attribute difference there. A powerful strike against a keeper. Yeah, I don't think Locke is actually that badly rated for a team of this level. But, yeah, it's not over here. We're going to have to make a change. I can't take off Walker. But both my strikers have played well. Uh, Lafayette, lower condition though. Maybe Harold Labus will come on for Lafayette. And uh, one more sub, Adelsby to come on for Kingsley James. Just got to bring him in his box-to-box -box role. Who knows uh, what he can do. Maybe Sheaf, uh, bring him more support role. There we go. And we'll see if we can do this. Harold Labus, no pressure. And Ben Adelsby, there's a lot more to come from you. He's come back from his injury. Still in a chance with this game. 
Uh, but yeah, Jed Wallace is too good, basically. <laughs> That's one way to put it. He is a good player. And you can't be too surprised with that strike. But I just hate that, you know, when they can just easily, like, the goalkeeper doesn't look like saving it. And Banks stretches to Cunningham. He's going to look to whip in across and foul a good header. Now it's Williams. He finds Barrow. Oh, he finds the back of the net. That's disappointing, but what can you do, really? We started things really well, and then it just got into hard. Ugh, I suppose you can say we can go attacking here, maybe. See what this will change. Play a more attacking game, but there's no... I reckon we shouldn't go too low with our morale. I reckon we'll be able to hold it. We competed, and it may not even be over yet. Cunningham, come on, get this back. Palmer. Ball. Sheaf. Christy Davis. Harrelabis. Do something special. Walker for a hat-trick. Oh, imagine if that went in. I would have gone, yeah, top right corner. Oh, man. Good build-up, though. I just want to see how this tactic's looking here. Yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, we'll go team talk. Maybe say passionately demand more. It's just demand more for them. From them. Come on. Maybe something here yeah, late. May not. Oh, four minutes of injury time? Maybe something. Come on. It doesn't look to be. I think that should be it. It's even a minute past the allotted time. Williams finds Chaplin, Barrow, Banks, and he was offside, and that should be the game. Okay, Portsmouth win 3-2, but we gave a good account of ourselves there. Again, can I praise the team here, or are they just going to be mad? I'm just going to say, I can't fault your... You, yeah, you, you gave it your everything. Yes, now they get a good reaction. I was puzzled by the half-time reaction, but yeah, I think we did the best we could. I showed you how good their players were. Uh, compare you, compare them to our ones as well. I think we did the best we could for a away game against them as well. Not sure what you think, but yeah, I think we did the best we could, uh, really. So I'm going to leave it there. At least we got off bottom with the draw against Accrington. We've got Oxford. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to do the next game because I said, yeah, um, I'm going to do cup games, but I'm out of the cups now until FA Cup comes around, which... Yeah, who knows how long that run would last. Uh, but, yeah, I might play just the next four or five games or something and then do another two games in an episode. Uh, I'm not sure which matches you think are crucial. They're all about the same level now, really. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, and I shall see you guys in the very next video.